We're in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 3. We're going to be doing Part 2 of Organizing List Information. So Part 2 is simply Step 6 in this activity. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is to open up Building a Model Airplane. And I just double click it from the bottom of my instruction panel here. Now, this document is a set of instructions on how to build a model airplane. And previously we worked with bullets and numbering, and this time we're gonna use a multi-level list. So your multi-level list, you can see how I have um, in my text here, most, uh, some things are aligned at the same point. Some of them are aligned a little bit in. And when we apply a multi-level list, we're gonna see that we have um, some different characters that are going to help differentiate information in this instruction. All right, the first thing that Jasper wants us to do is use a keyboard shortcut to move to the end of the document. So I'm going to press and hold the control key and the end key, so that's E-N-D, and that's going to move my cursor all the way to the bottom. Now we want to pay really close attention here to, because uh, we're going to be hitting tab, we're going to be typing in some text, and we want to pay really close attention to what Jasper asks us to do. So starting here at the bottom, I'm going to hit the tab key. That's going to move my cursor over half an inch, and then I'm going to type build each group separately and press enter. For this next line, I'm gonna hit the tab key twice. So this is gonna first move it over once, um, half an inch, and then it'll move it over uh, half an inch again every time I hit that tab key. And then I'm gonna type allow to dry completely before attaching anything else and press enter again. Now you notice every time we hit enter, our cursor goes all the way back to the original point here. That original alignment. One more time I'm going to hit the tab key. This time I'm going to type assemble each portion together per manual and hit enter one more time. Now we're going to select each line of text. We are not going to select the title. We're just going to start here at purchase and select all the way down by clicking and dragging. And then on the home tab in the paragraph group, we're gonna click on the multi-level list button. That's gonna open up some suggestions for us. And we wanna select, um, mine's up here on the current list. We're looking for the 1AI version. Should be that first one. So either place is fine. Ooh, not this one. See, paying attention to details. You're looking for the one that ends with the periods, not the parentheses. So up here at the top is where it should be. And go ahead and click on that. And what you're gonna see is that has applied some different characters to each line on this instruction, in these instructions, based on where they are aligned. All right, so the ones that were aligned all the way over here are now steps one and two. Um, the Lines that were indented just half an inch now have A, B, and C. And then the ones that were aligned in a full inch, that has the I. So this is differentiating between like points and subpoints. Now we're going to click our cursor anywhere in the open box line, which is this one right here. I'm just putting it at the beginning. We're going to use the decrease indent button to see what happens. So that's on the home tab in the paragraph group, this guy right here. And when I click on the decrease indent button, it's going to move my um, alignment over half an inch to the left. So if I click on that, it has moved my text over, but it also changed it to the second step now in this instruction panel because of where the alignment was. We're not going to keep it like that. So up on my quick access toolbar, I'm going to click the undo button. Instead, I actually want to adjust where my text is. I'm going to move it over a little bit to the left, but I don't want to use the decrease indent button because that goes too far. So instead, I'm going to use my left alignment 
button. Um, now, first of all, you'll need to make sure you see your ruler at the top. If you don't, click on the View tab. And then in the Show group, make sure that the checkbox for ruler is checked. And then your ruler should show up here. So I'm going to click and drag over these first three steps right here, the sub points for step one. And up on our ruler, we have these three little marks right here. We want to make sure that we put just the tip of our cursor on that little square or rectangle, and that when we hover it, it says left indent. That, that means we have it in the right spot. And then I can click and hold. Now you're going to see a line that goes down, um, down the screen. This helps you identify where the words are going to line up. Now Jasper says that we want the three points um, to line up below the purchase, the P and purchase here. And I want to make sure that I'm aligning the A, B, and C with that letter. All right, so I can click and drag it wherever I want it to go. As long as I get it, I move it just a little bit. Close enough, close enough. There we go. Now I'm going to um, use the Control Y shortcut to redo that function, which is moving the text over. Um, so I want to be really careful that I don't click or do anything between this point and what I'm going to do next. Um, otherwise, that Control Y function won't work. It gets real particular. Um, so for the next step down here, I'm going to select, I need to select lines A, B, and C. I do not want to select line I. So to do that, I need to make sure that I'm using the Control key to make sure that I'm selecting non-consecutive text. So first, I'm going to click and drag over these top two. I'm going to let go of my mouse. I'm going to press and hold control. Then I'm going to click and drag over line C. Once those are all selected, I'm going to press and hold control and tap the letter Y. And that should move it over for you. If it does not work, you probably have to just go back, use your undo button, go back to this point, align these up again, and make sure you're not clicking anything else in between those two steps. All right, the last thing we're going to do, I'm going to click into line I, and I'm going to click the decrease indent button. So I'm going to make sure I'm on the home tab in the paragraph group. I'm going to click my decrease indent button. That's going to change that to a C. That's okay. I'm going to leave it just as is. Mark is answered and submit.